killed, nearly 5,000 homes damaged. But if you get in it and you're gone, it's over. The National Guard has stepped in to help as the water starts receding here in some neighborhoods. In North Carolina, weather is being blamed for this massive pileup involving more than 130 vehicles, 25 people injured. While in Northern California, more heavy rain led to this mudslide, forcing several families to evacuate their homes. It's a fall in another four or five feet uh, overnight, and it's really getting precarious. Strong winds have also toppled trees here on the West Coast. One fell right on top of a car, killing a man in Washington State. Brandy hit ABC News, Los Angeles. Well, all we have here is just uh, gray skies to complain yeah, about. Yeah, not much rain today, but that's coming tonight and tomorrow morning. And then uh, Wednesday is the day to look for because Wednesday we could get in the lower 70s with sunshine. So, there's so that a, our transition yeah, day? Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be the one nice day this week weather-wise. Oh so we'll get you started here. Let's give you a look right now at conditions in Laurel Bear. Maryland, excuse me, at Pilate High School. Temperatures there in the lower 50s. I mean, that's really the story across the entire area with the sustained cool winds out of the north. Also, now that we're back in uh, daylight saving time, we're on March here to the first day of summer, June 20th, which will be uh, about our latest sunset of the entire year. So 715 tonight. So we have a lot of long evenings and sooner or later we're going to get warmer and very warm, pleasant evenings for lots of outdoor activities in the daylight before the sun goes down this night. Eh, not so nice, cloudy and damp. 52 in Leesburg, 54 in Manassas, 50 at Andrews right now, 50 degrees in Frederick, 49 at the moment in Hagerstown. But you don't have to go far west nor far to the south to see warm weather. They've had sunshine across North Carolina and South Carolina all day. 77 in Charlotte right now, 75 in Charleston, 71 in Pittsburgh. But very cool weather up and down the east coast, only 40 degrees right now. That is really chilly this time of year in New York City. So here's our satellite and radar. We've had this uh, kind of mid-level, low-level overcast all day and just south through the Carolinas sunshine. Let's uh, take a break right now. Go back to uh, Leon and Michelle. All right, Doug, we want to go right up to Palmer Park where we expect in Prince George's County. We're expecting here the officials to give us an update on the case of this ambush shooting of a police officer, Ja'Kai Colson. It happened at the District 3 station Sunday afternoon around 430 or so. The officer killed in that shooting and we're still waiting to get more details on whether or not that shooting was either the, the result of the uh, the person who ambushed the station or if there was actually friendly fire involved. There's still some question about that. I was also so we're gonna have you appear. word that possibly that uh, there's uh, that allegedly this whole incident was recorded on video by two of the brothers of the shooter who appeared outside that station. We you know, right now don't have any information on who's going to be there on the dais. We uh, are assuming we're going to be hearing any moment now from uh, Chief Stowinski. Okay. All right. We see. Uh, we do now see the uh, public information officer Julie Parker there, assembling uh, everyone there, and uh, Chief Stowinski is there on the uh, on the day is there. That is a picture there of Officer Officer Colson, who was a four-year officer mm -hmm. there working there in Prince George's County. Good and afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for your patience. My name is Julie Parker. I'm the director of media relations for the Prince George's County Police Department. Before we begin, our department would like to express its extreme gratitude for the show of support we have received from around this nation. We've heard from the White House, from the FBI director, from the ATF, from Governor Hogan, Senator Cardin, Mikulski, Congressman Hoyer, Congresswoman Edwards, multiple other people, and from our law enforcement family from around the country and, in fact, around the world. And we can't forget the citizens of Prince George's County who have reached out to so many of us. We thank you very much for your support during this tragic time. We're going to begin this afternoon with Chief Stowinski of our police department. He will then introduce S FOP Lodge 89 President John Telechia, and we will take your questions afterwards. Chief Stowinski. Thank you, Ms. Parker, and good afternoon. A little less than 24 hours ago, it was my sad duty to come before our community and talk about the fact that one of their defenders had fallen. Now I come before a much larger community, as Julie has alluded to, and I want to send my personal gratitude to all of the people mentioned and unmentioned who have wrapped their arms around this department and indeed this county in the hours that have passed.